Hello and welcome to another moaning show. I am your host as always, HED01, and in this episode I would like to talk to you about living costs. Now, I realise that I may have uh, done a moaning show about this in the past, but obviously with uh, certain things going on this year and obviously possibly next year, uh, this needs discussing again. So, living costs are the costs that um, you have to shell out for to live. It's basically in the title. There's not a lot you can do... um, about living costs and the funny thing is this isn't bills this isn't um, well kind of could be bills i suppose but this is the the cost of your day-to-day needs so in other words your your milk your bread your eggs your newspaper your your whatever that you feel that you need to uh, get through a day a week a month before your next uh, pay packet Question one this week is a lot of what I complain about tends to be about money. Why is this? I would have thought the answer would be fucking simple, wouldn't you? Um, Everything costs money, apart from, you know, one or two things. And if there was a way for the establishment or governments in the world to charge for uh, air and, of course, uh, you know, like love and things like that, they fucking would do. they put a tax on it without any hesitation. But, yes, I agree. A lot of what I um, uh, talk about on The Moaning Show is to do with money. I bet everyone watching, I bet everyone um, who has ever seen a moaning show or, or has ever been frustrated with the amount of money they have always wishes and this goes for rich fuckers too, every single one of us wants more money, or virtually all all of us wants more money. And that comes from a a need for, or a want, quite frankly, to either better the possessions that we have, to better ourselves in in a certain way. They say money is the root of all evil. Yeah, in a way, but it really does fucking help sometimes. Um, you know, I mean, I'll go back to the, again, the year that I've had. Obviously, I will keep talking about it, you know. But um, when you exist on less pay than what you're used to, it's fucking difficult. And more of that in a future moaning show. Question two this week is, will Brexit have an effect on living costs? Of course it fucking will. They're already so-called trying to scare us into reversing our decisions about Brexit with regards to, oh, we're going to be paying 20% more for a loaf of bread or 30% more for some milk. Okay, so what? Then wages will have to fucking rise as well, won't they? There's, There's nothing... Worse than being told, oh, it's going to be fucking resigned, man, for fucking... Fuck off! For a start, Brexit hasn't happened yet. It's supposed to happen in five days, or four days. It's not going to happen in five, you know, four to five days on the 31st of October. You know, everyone says, oh, it's going to be fucking shit. Calm the fuck down for a fucking start. With all the bullshit that's happened with Brexit this year... We've had to ask for two extensions. And by the 30th of January, or whenever whenever the new fucking um, uh, date is for Brexit, they'll have to ask for another one because they'll find something else. The people that voted Remain on uh, the Brexit referendum have nothing to worry about because basically we're never going to leave. They'll find another um, lawful... Uh, reason that we can't exit the EU, they'll find even more reasons to delay the fucking process. And again, I don't want to go off on too much of a tangent about fucking Brexit. If you want to hear my thoughts about Brexit, watch a previous moaning show about Brexit. All I'm saying is, is that Brexit, if it ever fucking happens, will affect living costs. Prices will hike 
for maybe a year or two you know instead of paying say like a pound for a loaf of bread you'll pay one pound fifty or something like that so we've all got to like tighten our so-called purse strings so to speak we've got to watch out for the hiking uh you know, prices of the basic things that we take for granted, as I keep on saying, milk, bread, eggs, petrol will hike. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. Um, but again, Brexit will have an effect on these living costs. My final question this week is who will carry the financial burden? Well, our fucking conservative government certainly won't and they'll put the uh, they'll put the less fortunate and more vulnerable even further um, into uh, financial difficulties because that's what a conservative government does. So the answer to that question of course is you and me the people who don't earn a specific uh, amount of money and of course the uh, disabled and uh, less fortunate like I said these poor fuckers that have got one leg and only three fingers on one arm for example uh, judged to have enough mobility to go and uh, work in an office for eight hours a day five days a week you know what I mean and that quite frankly is a load of bullshit but um, the burden will be on the taxpayer, uh, the general public, obviously, to pick up this burden of the finances going down and things like that, all that sort of bollocks. And you get to a point where you think, well, you have to choose sometimes whether you eat or heat which is fucking terrible. Pensioners are always moaning about this, about the fact of, oh, they haven't got enough fucking money to pay the fucking bills or whatever. And yet you see them going off on a nice day out a few times a month, you know, on, on the coach to Bournemouth or something like that. And you think, yeah, you're struggling for money. But what I'm saying is, is that people are having to decide whether they have got enough money to go out and have a nice time with friends and family they have to decide whether they're gonna like put everything aside first which is what you should do obviously you put everything aside first and then work out what you've got to uh, muck about with but living costs are always going to be an issue for basically everyone you live within your means so if you have say or oh, i don't know if you if you're a footballer of course you're going to be fucking extravagant you, you you earn millions of pounds every fucking year specifically the very good ones of course but the the average person like i keep on saying earns an average wage and they have to say right can't do that this month can't do this this month you might have your car and an mot to uh, to sort out you know with insurance and all that bollocks and you might have uh vet bills or something like that your dog might be sick or something like that so you've got to factor in every little detail to figure out can you do what you want to do that month if you can't it's going to be a bit of a shitty month not really your fault but if you've got other things that you need to prioritize you have to prioritize them so if you're if you're used to say um let's say for example king's mill bread okay and you've got your car mot you've got your insurance and the tax to sort out like we have this month and of time of recording obviously and um so instead of having a king's mill loaf you have to have a tesco loaf or a sainsbury's loaf or something like that that's the kind of thing that you have to do if you're having beans on toast for example for a, a few days of this extra expensive month and thinking about extra expensive months what have we got coming up in a couple of months we've got fucking christmas you know and if you're already scrimping and saving your christmas will not be as extravagant as maybe your next door neighbor or your friend or colleague that you work with there's nothing you can do about it it's all to do with being smart enough to realize that you're 
your bills and your utilities and your tax and all that other bullshit that you really don't want to fucking do has to come first. You see? So that shit has to come first. Then you put the things you need next. And if you've got any money left, it's all to do with what you want to do if you think you can do it. That's the issue here with living costs. It's not just the cost of, you know, the bills and the food and everything else. You think, well, can you do that? Yes or no? If it's yes, brilliant. You can do <laughs> some things that you want to do. If it's no, oh, fucking no, I can't fucking do that. Mom. Fucking man, man, man. My year has basically been like that. Oh, I can't fucking do that. Waste of fucking time that is. Or I see a game that I like or something like that and it's like, Yep, gonna have to wait, gonna have to wait, 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 and maybe it's a future topic for another morning show, but I fucking hate waiting, I always have done, can't stand it, but anyway, <laughs> that's about it for this edition of the morning show, thank you very much for watching, comments and suggestions for future morning shows in the uh, description, um, in the comments box, excuse me, down below, uh, I'm going to ask you to like this video, I'm going to ask you to comment on future videos, and something new, I would like you to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Hit the, hit the subscribe button underneath the video, click the little bell underneath the video to be notified of any future content that I put out on this channel. I do have plans obviously for future moaning shows but also I would like to bring back my top five which is a series of videos that is basically the opposite of the moaning show, things I like. But anyway that's enough blabbing from me for this week and next week we'll have another one. See you then. <laughs>